All right, what's going on guys? I'm making this video more to document what I discovered on the 2022 Outback with uh, not even 1,400 miles on there. You guys can see on the dash. So I was about to do my oil change and get this Fumoto valve installed, but I'm gonna hold off on that because I found, I'll show you. So if you guys can see that right there, there's a small leak on the oil pan and it's not coming from the plug since that's completely dry and just all around that along the sway bar there, just all of this, this whole entire section is starting to pool with oil and it should not be happening with 1400 miles on the car. And so instead of taking it to the dealer first, I figure I try to find the issue myself. Now, one guess, and it's actually a really good guess, is that the oil might be overfilled. I've not done an oil change or gotten an oil change. This is still the oil from the factory. So, car's been sitting overnight, and if you look at the dipstick, that is way above the full line. So, one more for good measure. Yeah, look at that about three quarters of an inch above the full line and so I wanted to change the oil so after just briefly searching online uh, it looks like a lot of folks are having the similar issues as my car is having but I'm really doubting that an oil pan gasket would go bad after not even 1400 miles so I think what's happening is that the oil is overfilled and that it's causing it to spew out I don't know. But like I said, before I take it into the dealer, I'm going to change the oil. And this is Subaru motor oil, 020 full synthetic, and then just replacing the filter with the stock one. And yes, everything is under warranty. We got every kind of warranty you can get. And so I could take it to the dealer. But like I said, if I could prevent them from replacing anything they don't need to, then that would be my preference. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the car, let it run for a little bit. We'll swap out the oil and then periodically check under there to see if it's still leaking if it doesn't then i'll leave it as is but if it does then it's time to take it into the dealer yeah i wanted to install the fumoto valve but i'm gonna hold off for now i just don't want the dealer to find any kind of reason to avoid any warranty so that's that's why i'm not gonna i'm gonna leave that alone for now and just use the stock drain plug all right, so I just got done with the oil change. I wiped around the area where the lower oil pan is. I cleaned it off as best as I could. And what I'm gonna do is in a few hundred miles or so, I'm gonna inspect around the oil pan area to see if it continues to leak. I'm hoping that the oil change with the reduction in oil to fix the issue. Because like I mentioned, there was an abundance of oil at least three quarters of an inch above the full line. So I don't know if that caused it to leak but like I said I just wanted to change the oil and inspect it before going to the dealer because it could be something minor and I don't want to potentially wait weeks maybe months for whatever part that may be if they don't need to replace it so I just I, I don't want to have them go in there to replace a perfectly working part when it turns out it could have been fixed with an oil change and reducing some oil so that's gonna be it for now. I'll update this vlog whenever I get the chance. Put some more miles on the car with it being so brand new and then reinspect it and go from there. Okay, it's actually the following day, November 13th, and we drove this for a little less than 10 miles. So I'm gonna go check under here. Okay, so this fresh oil right here where the sway bar is, I wiped all of that yesterday. And now look, it's uh, pretty much all the way back yeah that's not good so it's back and it's leaking pretty quickly so i think i'm going to take it back to the dealership and then let them figure it out but i'll keep you guys posted if there's any updates it's just disappointing all right guys just an update so it is friday november 18th it's been a few days since i changed the oil and i honestly barely drove the car but the bad news is it is still leaking and so the fact that i didn't drive it for a few days and it still leaks uh, that's obviously not a good sign so i am going to take it into subaru tomorrow morning and then we'll see what they have to say about it i know i want them to inspect it but i also want them to fix it right away it's obvious what the issue is but after reading some posts online and stuff like that 
it looks like they're gonna put some type of coloring through the engine or whatever so that they're able to see the leak or where it's coming from so right now the issue is i know it's leaking from the lower oil pan or at least it looks like it but the big issue that i hope is not happening is the upper oil pan so if the upper oil pan is leaking that means that the engine has to come out so that can be resealed so it's just i'm a little anxious and irritated all at the same time but i know they're going to take care of it under warranty and stuff like that but again not the point the point is it's a brand new car low miles and it shouldn't be i shouldn't have to be doing this i shouldn't have to go to subaru not until the first oil change at 6,000 miles, but 1,400 miles is where we're at and it is leaking. So like I said, tomorrow morning, we're going to head over to Wilsonville Subaru and then we'll go from there. But yes, just a small update for today. All right, just got to the dealership to drop off the car. And look, there's the same car right in front of us. Probably here for the same thing. But yeah, we'll keep you guys posted. Okay, just dropping it off. We're getting a loaner. They said till 3 p.m. Potentially, mind you, it's like little past 8 30 it's gonna take i think it's gonna take until monday or maybe next week but we'll see but we're just dropping it off all right what a coincidence this was the same one the same exact loaner that we got from last time was this one like same exact car yeah this is it <laughs> wow what a coincidence this is the last one they had too all right, so we just got a call from Subaru of Wilsonville saying the car is ready for pickup. Um, it's been about a week, so today's uh, Saturday, November 26th. So we're gonna head over to the dealership to pick up the car, but they said they found leaks. I'll get into it once I get the paperwork, but right now, if you guys are able to tell the garage is a mess. Yeah, this one's having some issues and I'm trying to just do my best to figure out the issues, but yeah, it's not, it's not looking good. So I took it apart. Now I'm just gonna put it back together and I might need to take it to a shop. I will most likely need to take it to a shop. So, but that's, that's a separate video. Um, this one is just for the Outback Wilderness and uh, to see what the issue was with the leak. So we're gonna go pick it up and then I'll check back with you guys when we get the car. All right, what's going on everybody? So it's actually the following day. I spent a lot of time just kind of organizing the garage and putting this thing back together. Uh, so now that my mind is clear, uh, I wanted to talk about the Outback and what the dealer ended up doing after I complained that the oil pan was leaking. All right, so first of all, big shout out to Subaru of Wilsonville for the amazing service that I received from you guys. And also thank you for the loaner that you provided uh, during the week that the car was in the shop. So like I mentioned a few weeks ago, I noticed oil coming from the oil pan area and it was basically all over the oil pan and all over the front sway bars. And so I had no choice but to take it into the dealer. All right, so I wanted to talk about exactly what I complained about and what Subaru did to fix it and go into detail on that aspect. Cause I know a lot of folks probably are not gonna see any leaks until the first service, which is 6,000 miles. But for me, I decided to look under there and just inspect any leaks or anything abnormal and yes this is what i found so this is my writing right here i was pretty pissed when i wrote it but i was respectful and i was just very clear and concise about what i wanted done to the car and what i was noticing so i said that it's leaking oil from the oil pan area front sway bar and leak is coming from above around the oil pan area at 1389 miles so i told them to inspect the lower oil pan seal and i made sure to say that the oil drain plug is not loose leak is coming from above it around the oil pan area. Yeah, so a week later I get a call and basically they confirmed that it was leaking. You guys can see it right here for yourselves. Placed vehicle on lift and performed inspection. Verified oil was leaking from engine upon inspection. Found oil leaking from lower engine oil pan like I called it and then found upper oil pan dry not leaking. So that's good because if the upper oil pan was leaking then the engine would have to be pulled in order to repair that. At least that's what I read online. Recommend resealing lower oil pan and retesting drain engine oil and coolant from vehicle. Remove front exhaust and turbo assembly. So the turbo assembly had to come off in order to get access to the oil pan. Remove lower oil pan, cleaned all previous silicone and residual oil, applied new silicone to oil pan and reinstalled. So they also had to change the coolant and bled the cooling system properly. So that's, that's good. And then test drove it for four miles and verified after test drive that no oil is present. Another thing that they did was performed the software update. No, this is not the software update that 
enables wireless CarPlay. I don't know, it's just, I guess it made it run better, but no, it's not the update we've all been waiting for. And then another fact here, so first of all, I didn't say that the oil light was on. I guess someone inputted that into the system. Uh, found the oil level switch with the oil seep. So they removed and replaced the engine oil level switch, which is one of the other issues that I read about online and verified proper oil level after replacement. So no further issues at this time. So basically it was the lower oil pan as well as the oil level switch, which a lot of folks I've seen uh, with the same issues. And the rest of these are just warranty information. Nothing, nothing really to discuss here. But yes, so what I found was that this is prevalent in the 2020 through 2022 Outback Onyxes and then the Wildernesses. So basically just any Outback with the turbo model, I suggest going under the car and checking for any leaks. So like I said, a lot of folks probably don't even notice this leak until the first oil change. And it's just honestly, this is where I get kind of irritated. I think we're done with the paperwork, so I'm gonna turn the camera around. So I'm making this video more to kind of just spread awareness. And yes, I am frustrated at the situation. It's a brand new car and something as simple as an oil pan gasket should not be an issue, you know? I mean, I understand if it's like a revolutionary new car part, whatever feature that may have issues being it's the first model, but a freaking oil pan gasket, a seal, that that's that's ridiculous in my opinion. So I did end up riding the Subaru of America, not to complain about the dealership, but to complain and to vent my frustrations with this entire thing. If you go to the Subaru Outback Wilderness Forum on Facebook, type in oil leak, I guarantee you, you're gonna see a bunch of folks with the same issues and it's all leaking from that lower oil pan. So. That's where this is all coming from. I just wanna let you guys know to check out, just go under your car to get a flashlight and look under there to check if there's anything shiny. Obviously, if it's shiny, that means it's leaking and you gotta get that fixed as soon as possible. I know to some folks, this may not be a big issue or a big deal, but to me, it is, you know? Less than 1,400 miles, that, and it, I already had to take it to the dealership for something so simple that could have been prevented. I understand we're in rough times right now, but again, something as simple as an oil pan seal should not be happening. I don't care what anyone says on that part. Like I said, I reached out to Subaru of America more so that they can hear my voice. The number of people with the same issues on the same car, at this point, I think Subaru should issue a recall, get it over with, catch it before anything major happens. Cause we all know what happens if there's low oil on a car. Let's just leave it at that. And again, going back to the paperwork, it mentioned that the upper oil pan wasn't leaking. Do I have confidence in that? Hell no. So if the lower oil pan was already leaking from the factory, what makes you think that the upper oil pan isn't leaking? Right now, all we could do is to just wait and see. I'm gonna periodically check under there to see if there's any leaks and it's just gonna be, it is what it is. Like I said, to me, this is a huge deal and your guys' opinions can be different from mine. But yes, uh, this video is about just spreading awareness. If you have a 2020 to 2022 Outback Wilderness or Onyx, check under the car for any leaks. Call your dealer ASAP. I know some of the parts may be on back order, so I guess I am pretty fortunate that they only had the car for a week. This is over the Thanksgiving week, so I think that's pretty quick and I'm not complaining. I did tell them to keep the car as long as you need just because they provided a loaner, so I'm not really angry at that part. And Plus, I don't want to rush those guys. I know they're working as hard as they can, but you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so the car right now has about 1,450 something miles. I drove it a little more. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be checking on it regularly and I'll provide these kinds of updates as necessary. Just hoping that you guys can check it out for yourselves. I mean, we got to hold Subaru accountable for these things. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous, especially for a brand new car. I can't, I can't stress that enough, but Anyway, uh, I know I sound like a broken record right now. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but so far I'm good now. I'm just, yeah, here to enjoy the car again. So I'm gonna close this one out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.